What's up YouTube, Jeff Bag again today, the very exciting Samsung video for you guys, and today we're going to be talking about notifications. Now you guys know that I've talked about notifications in previous videos, and today we're going to get into exactly how you can avoid missing notifications on your Galaxy smartphone and on your Galaxy Watch, because this sometimes can be a problem on the Galaxy Watch as well. So if you've had problems where you notice that you don't get a particular notification on your phone, like a vibration or a sound alert, even though you have them turned on, or you don't receive that notification on your watch as a vibration or sound alert, I'm going to show you guys how to triage that and kind of troubleshoot it. There's a bunch of steps. Unfortunately, Samsung's made this pretty complicated, so we'll go through it step by step today. Before we get started, do I thank my four-year-old son, Jonathan. He gives us the T-Rex hangout over here. He always gives us some dinos or animals. If you guys haven't checked out our website yet, check it out, samiguru.com, for written coverage of all the latest Samsung news, tutorials, updates, etc. If you're going to be purchasing a Galaxy S25 Ultra device, you can also sign up for our mystery box program right here. And with the mystery box program, you'll be able to get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand. It is US only. Put in your phone number or your email or both, and uh, we'll text you out. All you got to do is use our affiliate link. It's a way of giving back to the audience, and we really love to do it. So those links are in the pinned comment and description. So you probably know that if you go into settings and scroll down, there is a separate tab called notifications in the main settings menu of One UI. And that's great. So the first place you want to go to make sure your notifications are working properly if you're having any issues is this menu. And make sure you go to app notifications at the top and then just quickly scroll through the list. Obviously, if you have a lot of apps like I do. It's going to take a minute to load and find the app that you're interested in and make sure that the notifications are toggled on. So for instance, if I was not getting notifications from OneDrive and I wanted them, I could toggle it on and I'd be good to go. So that's the first step. And it's a very simple step. You'll notice you can search up here. You can also show system apps, although I wouldn't really recommend turning off any of those particular things because it could mess up some of the notifications for critical Samsung services. But if this isn't toggled on, that could be your problem. And it's actually the easiest thing to fix. So you might as well check it out very first thing. Next, you do have a couple other options that are not related to receiving notifications specifically, but you could also triage some of these while you're inside the menu. Sort notifications by priority. You can also change this to time. Lock screen notifications, you can turn these. This is somewhere where you do want to check it out. And if you're not getting notifications on your watch or phone, you may have turned lock screen notifications off. Here you can see, if you go into settings, you can find all of the apps that can send you lock screen notifications and can show you content. So this is if you're not getting a notification with content on the lock screen from say Facebook Messenger, you can turn that on and then show that content. Sometimes when people say they're not getting notifications, what they mean is the notification's not showing the content they want on the lock screen. So that's something to take a look at. Also make sure at the bottom where it says notifications to show that it's set to alert and silent because sometimes some Samsung phones default to alert notifications only. And then if you have it set to silent type inside of the app specific notification channels, which I'll show you guys in a few minutes, then you'll only get the ones that are alert and not silent. If you want all your notifications, make sure that's toggled on there. Now notification pop-up style lets you show either brief or you can also get detailed view. You can also choose your edge lighting here. Again, this has nothing to do with receiving notifications specifically, but it does work nicely. You can color by keyword and you can show notification pop-ups even when the screen is off. This is another thing when sometimes when people say they're not seeing the notifications, they really mean that they're not seeing them when the screen is off show up as a little pop-up. And this is where you can enable that make sure it's set. Do not disturb is pretty obvious. If you turn that on, you're not going to get notifications. And I think most of us would expect that. You can set up your do not disturb settings in here on a schedule. You can also set it for a sleeping mode and uh, have specific exceptions that you want to allow uh, inside do not disturb. Now the next important setting, if you're not receiving certain notifications are the advanced settings. When you go into advanced settings, a couple of things you can do. First, you can check your notification history to see which notifications have come in. You can also modify some of how some of these look and you can change how the icon looks when you actually see it in the quick settings shade. Now here you've got the show snooze button and repeat notification alerts. So if you feel like you miss notifications just because you don't see them, you could turn this on. App icon badges and then the very important one here at the bottom, which Samsung turned off by default in One UI 6.1 earlier this year, manage notification categories for each app. This lets you manage things like your ringtones, or your tones for specific messages inside like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, etc. So if you really want to make sure you're getting all your notifications, you need this on. And I'll show you guys how to manage these next. That's what we're going to jump into now. But you can kind of see how I have my notifications set up here with the settings that I showed you inside that menu. Again, you can change how the icons look. 
and you can also kind of change the amount of details and information you get inside the notification shape. So if you're still not getting notifications at this point, the next thing to do is to navigate over to the advanced notification settings, which you're going to have to do inside the apps menu. So scroll down, find the apps menu, and then once you're inside the apps menu, you're going to go ahead and go down and find the app you're interested in. Let's say I'm not getting notifications from Facebook. Tap on this, go into the notifications menu inside the specific app, and now you can control a lot of the notification settings with inside that app. You see that I have allow sound and vibration on, lock screen allowed, badge allowed, pop up allowed. If you're not seeing one of these somewhere, make sure you toggle it on if that's what you're interested in turning on. Lock screen notifications, show content as we talked about before. And this is the big one, two at the bottom that you want to check notification categories. Facebook has tons of them. Look at all the notification categories. There's 21 different categories that I deleted plus these, there's like 40 categories. And so when you go in here, you want to make sure that you check out in here. Listen. Sorry, that toggled notifications off. Check out one of these individual categories and determine if this has allow notifications on, if it is an alert notification, and then what type of sound or lock screen options you have. Some of these will be set to silent by default, and that can also cause you not to receive those specific notifications. This is also where you can change the specific sound you want for specific types of notifications. I made a full video on that earlier this year, which I'll definitely link below if you guys are interested in that. So you wanna check all of your apps. This can be very tedious to do. It's a big benefit of Android that we have the option to change these on a per notification channel level. iOS doesn't really have this at this level, but it is also somewhat difficult to do this on a per notification channel level just because of the work involved in doing this itself. Next, if you go back to the previous menu, scroll down, you'll see this option to configure in Facebook. Certain apps have the ability to configure your notifications inside the app itself. You can go inside Facebook and make sure that you have all of these set to push notifications. You can see, you can actually look through them and quickly tell here. It would actually be nice if the Samsung menu and the Android menu for notifications were a little bit more similar to this but this is only available for certain apps, so you should check this, but it's not something that you're gonna be able to do for every individual app. So once you've done those things, let's go back to settings. We've checked the main notifications, we enabled the advanced features, we looked at the app-specific notifications inside the apps menu. The last couple things that can cause some issues with receiving notifications are the way that Galaxy phones handle battery management. So sometimes if an app is not used for a while, it'll go into deep sleep. But there is a way to turn this off. So if you go down and find your battery menu, which is right here, you'll notice here background usage limits. And so what you can do is you can basically turn this off where it says put unused apps to sleep, go to never auto sleeping, and then add specific apps that you don't want to sleep because you want to get notifications all the time like Facebook. And then that will also make sure that they don't get put into sleep so you still get notifications even if they're not used for a while. Uh, this is one that really causes people some issues. On the Chinese phones, they do this in a really aggressive way so you get like almost none of your notifications. Samsung phones aren't nearly as aggressive, but it's still something that you should kind of toggle on here. Make sure you check it and, and just have it there. Now, if you go into the device care menu too, one thing that I would, I've found as well is sometimes when you use light performance mode, if you notice you're not getting notifications, and I use light mode as you guys can see on the S24 Ultra, you can switch this back to standard and it will be a little less aggressive about the battery optimization. So I think that's kind of an important thing to keep in mind as well. Now, if you're not getting notifications on your watch, let's talk about that next. And for that, let me actually bring in my Galaxy Z Fold 6 right here, because that is what I'm using uh, for my Galaxy Watch Ultra. If you go into the wearable application, you'll notice, let me actually scroll back because I was in the menu earlier, under watch settings, you'll find the notifications option right here. And make sure you toggle on app notifications, not only for the watch apps, but for every app you wanna receive notifications for on your phone that's capable of sending them. In addition, you also wanna have this as well, show alerts even when phone is in use. That way you still get notifications on your watch all the time if that's what you want. Advanced notifications, no notification indicator on the watch face, and turn on the screen. I find that both of those tend to help a lot with receiving reliable notifications on the Galaxy watches. And lastly, 
down here, Samsung has added this option, help with notifications. You can go in and see which notifications you're not getting on your watch, which ones you're not getting on your phone, and then also kind of the reason why. You can see here, I don't get YouTube notifications on my watch because I get YouTube Studio notifications and I turn off the duplicates. For whatever reason, X and YouTube and YouTube Studio, they tend to miss some notifications. I don't know if this is interplay between Google services trying to aggressively manage battery and Samsung One UI, but obviously I get a ton of notifications for both as a YouTuber, as a content creator, as a website owner, and sometimes I miss YouTube and X notifications. So they give you some notification tips down here. Uh, the other thing you can do is turn off on wrist detection on your Galaxy Watch. That will allow you, uh, and it gives you some tips here about this, how to do this. If you have a tattoo, turn off wrist detection and setting security. Uh, even if you don't have a tattoo, it can help you with reliability. I turn it off just to make sure I do get the maximum amount, and you can see, still miss some. So people have often asked, you know, is it really the case that Galaxy watches do miss some notifications? And the answer is yes, they still do. But you can mitigate this on your phone and your watch and still have a great experience. I get all my critical notifications. Most of these are just like likes, you know, and a few YouTube comments. Uh, and I get enough of those every day, so I don't care too much. I get all my emails and messages, etc. Anyway, if you guys have some questions about your specific case, why you're not receiving notifications, hit me up in the comments over on our uh, Facebook and also on our Instagram, at Sammy Gurus. Appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.